What's up guys and welcome to my first look at Killing Floor 2. Now, full disclosure, this isn't actually the full game. Um, that'd be pretty awesome if I did get access to the full game this early, but no, this is not the full game. This is the beta that was actually uh, put out pretty uh, low-key um, on the uh, the second, uh, which was available through the third. I only found out about it today on the third, <clears throat> so I'm trying it out uh, as far as I can. And uh, yeah, we'll see about that. But anyway, let's take a look at some of this um, opening menu stuff. So this is the home menu where you can do basic training, online matchmaking, and all that. Uh, and then there are the uh, the perks. There's a uh, berserker, commando, support, field medic, demolitionist, firebug, gunslinger, sharpshooter, and SWAT. So uh, we on the police station four will be getting all of the uh, classes except for the uh, survivalist. It looks like. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah. That's the uh, the perks that are available, I'm assuming, on a launch day. What's up, Frozen? How's it going? Uh, okay, so as far as gear, what kind of characters do we have right now? We've got Reverend Alberts, Tom Banner, PC, Rob Breyer, Classic Breyer, Mr. Foster, the classic uh, Killing Floor character, Olsten Jaegerhorn, that's cool, Anna Larvine, Larvine? Larive? Larive? I don't know. Uh, Lieutenant Bill Masterson, Classic Masterson, Donovan Neal, DJ Scully, and Anton Strasser, Hayato Tanaka, that's pretty cool, and Ray Higgins, let's stick for DJ Scully right here. And there are different uh, things that you could put on him, go with Green Hazard, why not, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, black is black, extra red, yellow, Green Hazard, Retro Scully, let's go with Green Hazard. Accessories. Put the Scully cap on. It's pretty cool. We can put the Scully phones on. Orzine white. It's pretty cool. I like the customization. They've got some pretty good customization. It's not bad. <coughs> okay. Uh, we can't go into the inventory. I have no idea what's in there. Um, as far as our perks are concerned, uh, I'm kind of curious about checking out SWAT. Let's see. Configure. So those are all the actual skills for that, we obviously aren't any level. So let's go ahead and jump into some basic training. <clears throat> so just to reiterate, this is kind of a first look at the Killing Floor 2 for the PlayStation 4. Welcome to the training program. Oh, hello. Hello. Pay attention. It might help save your life. Okay, welcome to the training floor. The training floor will teach you some sur uh, survival basics, but without the fear of death, complete the training floor and you will receive cosmetic item and enough experience to uh, bring your selected perk up to level 1. Before you begin the match, select the perks tab on the top left of the screen and select a perk. Perks are classes with different passive perk bonuses, configurable skills, and weapon bonuses. Not bad. Okay, so... Let's take a look here. Perk details. Perform experience objectives in the game to uh, gain experience and level up your perks. Each time you level up your perk bonuses increase for that perk. Every five levels you will unlock new skills that you can configure. Once unlocked, select a perk and press ready up to begin the match. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and check out, uh, oh I don't know, we'll check out the SWAT for now. We'll go from there. That's fine. Uh, configure, that's just the actual things. Uh, let's see, dealing SWAT weapon damage will give us our experience objectives, and killing clots with SWAT weapons will get our experience objectives. And from there, headshots, headshots, killing crawlers with firebug, firebug weapons, uh, killing flesh pound with uh, demo weapons, healing teammates in addition to the weapon damage, uh, welding doors, interesting, killing stalkers, Killing Zeds near a player with a Berserker weapon. Okay, okay. Not bad. Alright, so we'll check out the SWAT and we'll ready up. So yeah, I've been pretty excited to check this out. Hey, right. I'm here. Before you oh, start, okay. take a look at the basics of your Know equipment. your inventory. Each perk loadout starts with a unique primary weapon, a backup 9mm pistol, a specialist knife, and grenade. Hold triangle to use the directional buttons to select a weapon. <clears throat> Most primary weapons have an alternate fire mode. Press R1 to toggle your current fire mode. The icon in your view will show the currently selected fire mode. Okay. Uh, it can get dark out there. Press down on the D-pad to toggle your flashlight on and off. 
your flashlight battery will slowly run out of power. When it is out of power, it will turn off automatically and start recharging again. Grenades allow you to deal with closely packed groups of Zeds. Perks have different grenades in their weapon loadouts, all of which damage Zeds, but may also have additional effects. Press L1 to throw a grenade. Okay. This is actually running really, really smoothly, too. I mean, we'll see if it will last. Let's check out the 9mm. Hang on a second. Okay, uh, let's take a look at this real quick. Okay, so I've turned down the volume a wee bit. Um, I'll probably turn down the dialogue a little bit more and all that. But uh, controls, okay, so sensitivity, button layout, zoom sensitivity. That's, that's good that they give the difference. But here's the cool thing. You can actually change your FOV. How cool is that? There's so few uh, so few shooters out there that actually do this. So, uh, yeah. Friendly HUD scale. I have no idea what that does. But we're going to turn off the crosshair. We're going to show the Z kill ticker. Uh, show welder and inventory. Use alternate dual pistol aim. Interesting. No auto turn on clock grab. Okay, okay. Right, so, uh, yeah, we're going to turn the crosshair off because I want to get used to not using the crosshair. Okay. Okay, so it actually auto-locks onto the chest. I'm liking this so far. It feels really good. Z time. You are starting to look like you could be good at this. Z time slow mo kicks in when cool things happen, like headshots or hordes of enemies dying in an explosion. You can use this time to catch a small breather and daisy chain some kills together. Ah. Fuck you, zombie. Ah. Uh, the other one is for grenades. Okay. All right, let's check out... Okay, what do we got here? Single shot? Yeah, single shot. The uh, SMG. Not bad. So you have finished off a wave of them. Okay, trader time. In between waves, you can buy and sell weapons, buy armor, fill your ammo at the trader, follow the blue arrows to find the trader. Not bad. Okay, so triangle switches your actual uh, weapon, by the way, if that wasn't completely apparent. Is, where's our trader at? Ah! Follow the blue thingy. Keep on following it. Okay, but this feels really good so far. What the hell happened here? What the hell happened here? That's pretty good. I really like that there's an FOV slider, though. A game like this really needs it. How do I, uh... How do I heal is the question. This okay. is where you will find me during real missions. <clears throat> refill your ammo and with armor. New equipment. You can refill you uh, please stop talking. <laughs> you can refill your ammo, grenades, and body armor at the trader. To do so, select the weapon you wish to buy. Blah blah blah. You can purchase one magazine or grenade, blah blah blah. You can go up to your limit by pressing the so on and so forth. Okay. Selling weapons, uh, buying weapons, uh, weight and capacity. Uh, each weapon has a weight value. The weight of your current weapons may prevent you from being able to purchase the weapon you wish, blah blah blah, so on and so forth. Weight capacity, okay. So you do have a limited amount of time to actually access this stuff, so, uh, let's see. How much do I have? I've got enough, so... Let's see. Fill the armor. Fill that, fill that, fill that. Okay. Not bad. Before you start again, run attention. versus holdout. This advice know when to hold out and when to run. Find a good hold, uh, holdout spot, but once you start getting overrun, find an exit. Stay with your team. Your teammates are vital to your survival. They can heal you as well as help you take down the bigger Zeds. You can weld doors to slow the flow of enemies to a given area. To weld a door, walk up to it and hold circle to equip your welder. Interesting. So... Now let's quickly brief you on Melee weapons have both light and heart attacks. Performing light attack by pressing R2 and heart attack by pressing L2. Okay. You can also block with melee weapons holding R1. Blocking will reduce incoming Z damage. 
If you time a block correctly with an incoming Z attack, you will parry the Z and stumble him back. You will see an effect flash if you successfully parry a Z. Larger Zs have some unblockable attacks. Uh, you can tell if an attack is unblockable by glowing effects on the Z during an attack. So I know that uh, depending on how you're moving, uh, or the direction you're moving rather, uh, you'll actually do different melee attacks. So left and right you'll do your horizontal uh, slices, forward you'll do a downward, and if you're moving backwards you do upward slices. So, pretty cool. Worst nosebleed ever. Worst nosebleed ever. Alright, so, yeah. Sprint with L3. R3 is, of course, your melee and all that. Oh, really? Lucky for you, this is heal just yourself when hurt. Session. Ah, it's square. If you Listen hurt, up. you can heal yourself by pressing square after healing. Your syringe will take some time to recharge before you can use it again. You can also equip the syringe to heal your teammates by pressing up and pressing R2 when close to a teammate. This all seems very, uh... Very well done as far as the control scheme is concerned. Uh, field medic perks. Uh, perk weapons can heal teammates from a distance with their alternate fire mode. If you're using field medic, press R1 to fire a healing dart. Also, when you have the selected field medic perk, press L1 to throw a healing gas grenade. Oh, let's run away real quick. Switch up to automatic fire. Ah, they're all dead. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, if they are still up and moving, they can still deal damage to you, so you gotta be careful about that. Oh, that's a bloat down there. You're dead. Interesting, interesting, interesting. There they are. Probably isn't the best place for me to be. Ah. Switch up to the full auto, man. Oh, jeez, and get destroyed here. Oh no! <laughs> okay, that was a grenade. Let's heal. <laughs> Alright, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Okay, so we didn't die. <laughs> Victory! Congratulations, you've completed the training floor. From the home menu, you can practice more offline or jump into an online game with other survivors. Now go kill some Zeds. Nice. Third person. Yeah, so far it's running really well. It's running at a really decent frame rate, too. I mean, it's only single player, but yeah, as far as... Uh, training and all that's pretty concerned that's pretty good it's pretty good um let's go ahead and see here what do we need to do so level 5 level 10 level 15 level 20 and level 25 so every five levels you gain a new skill which is pretty cool all right and then there are perk bonuses which are passive for each level for each of the various classes gunslinger gets quite a bit Interesting. Alright, so I wonder if anyone's online. Survival versus survival. Okay, so versus mode is included with uh, the PlayStation 4. Right now we've only got three maps, it looks like, but that could just be because of the beta. So there's four difficulty. Normal, hard, suicidal, and hell on earth. Length, long. Okay. We'll go with short for now. Permissions, public, of course. Invite only. Allow in-progress games in U.S. West. All right. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. All right. So far, I'm liking how it feels. It feels really good. I just need to get, you know, more used to uh, certain things. So we're basically just waiting for people. I don't even know if people are actually going to be here, I guess. Um, yeah. Fun stuff. Um, okay, so we already tried out the SWAT. Let's try out the, uh, I don't know, Commando, Demolitionist, Firebug. Let's try out the Gunslinger. Let's try out the Gunslinger. I have no idea if anyone's going to join. I, I I doubt it, but you know, we'll see. All right, whatever, let's do it. So we can't actually join if it's just us, which is pretty cool. Okay, so 
here we are. So we've got our uh, dual 1887s, I think they are. Oh, jeez. We're already here. Nice. Let's go ahead and heal real quick. No reason not to. So what do we got? 12 left? Not bad, not bad. Five left. Five left. We got this. This this is running actually really well. Um, I'm not necessarily surprised that it's running pretty well, but I am glad. The two left. Oh, one left. Okay, I guess the headless guy still counted. That was pretty funny. All right. Where do you want us to go? Want us to go down here? Okay, we'll go down. They did not lay a claw on you. Oh, they laid a claw on me. Don't even. So how do you throw Don't dodge? Ah, uh, yeah, you have to nice. swipe on the uh, swipe on the touchpad, which you know, whatever. Um, it'll make it a little bit slower to hand out dosh, but that's fine. Glad you made it back. Okay, so let's get that, get that, get that. Uh, okay, 1911, dual 1911s for that. We could sell that for 50. I think we're okay. I, I want to go for the dual 1911s. Well, the we could Start get the... Up, yeah, let's get the dual... Get the dual 9mm and let's check those out real quick. Alright, so that's the standard mode. Okay, so if you hit R1, it's actually... It'll aim down sights. I wonder what the bonus or negative to using that is. I don't know. Last that's chance. fine. You guys know I how I feel about dual wielding, so... That's pretty cool, though. I like that. That's a, that's an interesting way to tackle uh, on the scope. dual wielding to it, mes amis. in a game like this, Dark. as far as the aiming is concerned. So, I'm pretty good with that. Pretty good with that. Right. Oh, here they come. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and reload that. It'll be nice once I actually get some reload bonuses, and I wonder if this will actually stay as far as uh, my progress is concerned. Missed the door. Missed the door. Okay. How do I crouch? Don't know how I crouch. Okay, so that should be it. Yeah. Triangle? No, it's not triangle. I mean, I already tried triangle. R3, R3 is there. that. Patch yourself up. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Know what I miss? Controls, right. button layout, crouch, and sprint L3. So if I'm... Oh, okay. So, sprint and L3. That's an interesting crouch. I don't know if I like that. Can I change that? Whatever. I'll do that later. Anyway. Yeah, I'm liking this. This feels good reload that while we're running over to the thing. I guess I should heal, too. Oh, yeah. Am the I gonna score. have enough time to get Must to the trader? Am I gonna have enough time? Yeah, I'll have enough time. You earn the money. Now spend it. Okay. Oh, no, I accidentally hit the wrong button. Oops! That sucks. Alright. Um, I don't really want that, actually. Zeds are getting um, closer. Damn, I was really hoping we could get the dual 1911s. That's that's fine, I guess. It's fine. Um, 
We're so close to that. Whatever, we'll just have to deal with this. Oh, stalkers. Nope, siren. Fuck that. I'm not dealing with that shit. Shit. She's still up. She's still up. Okay, you're dead. That was close. Scrake. Run away. Run away from the Scrake. <laughs> I don't want to fight you. Not yet, anyway. Oh, that's a flash pound. Oh, holy shit. This is not the right weaponry for this. Not the right weaponry for this. Oh shit, oh shit. Run out of the way! Reload, 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 reload. It's the worst. Ah, Husk, don't do it. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. We can do this. I'm not using my pistol right now is because I want to save it basically all for the scrape. God, this is not this is not what you want. This is the worst. This is the worst. Nice. I mean, I'm kind of parrying him a little bit, but. Back off a little bit. Let's just back off. Let's heal. Blood, 
Oh, fuck, I got him! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. That was... Definitely. I don't want to do that again. That was really hard. <laughs> okay. Let's go get some real weapons this time. Holy shit. That wasn't easy. Alright, uh, what do we have? We have $3,000. Let's get... Let's get the, I guess, the dual 1911s. I don't think we're going to need that anymore, but let's fill that, let's fill that. And, I don't know, the 500 Magnums? We'll fill that. Definitely need to fill that, and we'll fill as many of our grenades as we can. Alright, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. So, for the meantime, I'm about to shut the pod. I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna use the nine millimeter. Oh, that's cool. Don't tell me you're pretty on the break. Time's over. All right, Get back to let's work. do this. All Zeds inbound. All right, where are you coming from? Come from up there. Down there. Oh, hey, got some help. What's up? Kiss my ass. Yeah, okay. What's going on, guy? All oh, right, the sirens. They negate all of your uh, grenades. I completely forgot. We got this, we got this. We got this, we got this. One flash pounds down. Scrakes down. Scrakes down. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Help. Help. Buddy. Woo! <laughs> oh man. 500 Magnum for the win, holy shit. That was pretty intense. That was pretty intense. Oh my god. Whew. Some kind of freaky horror movie set? 
Oh man, this is pretty intense. I'm I'm really enjoying it though. I'm really enjoying it. This is a lot of fun. Alright. Almost there. Almost there. Bring up the trading controls and upgrade. I wonder how many uh how many of the uh, gunslingers people are gonna be? You know. Must close the pod very soon. I've got so much more weight capacity. Let's just get some dual desert eagles. Why not? Oh man. Yep. My war contribution. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> more money, more guns. My contribution. Party time! All Zed's on the scope. Back to it, mes amis. I wonder how he's throwing it out so fast. Oh shit, boss! Oh shit, it's a boss! You are disturbing me. I shall cause you pain. Alright. We got this boy! We got this boy! Where's this motherfucker at? He's over here, guy. Oh shit. Stop shooting at me, asshole. He's running. I know if we break his shield, he won't do the healy thing. Oh shit! That's not what you want. That's not what you want. Oh shit! I can't be here. I can't be here. He's shooting at me. Out of ammo. Get out of here, Paracel. We ain't got time for you. Oh shit. Oh shit. No! Homie! Explosion? I'll give you an explosion. Ah. Oh my god. Fools! That was the easy part. See what I have for you next, piggies. Run, piglets. I will feed on my head now. Oh my god, all these trash mobs are fucking me. No! At least I got the heal out. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Oh my god, he's doing so much damage. Guys, he's doing so much damage. I'd rather not. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god. You did that. Just like all the rest. Why did my homie have to die? My homie had to die. We were so close. We were so close. <laughs> oh man, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that immensely. Oh wow. That was good. That was good. I enjoyed that. All right. Well, 
I guess as far as a first impression is concerned, uh, that was pretty good. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Let's go with that one. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, as far as a first episode and a impressions video is concerned, uh, that's going to do it for that. I uh, am really looking forward to the full release. And uh, yeah, anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.